Hello, good evening, good night. Good Hi. night, teacher. Ah, uh, uh, Gustavo, how are you? Good night, good night, teacher. Do you have electricity in your house? Yes. Yeah, it's because I am reading in 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 one group that the the electricity has gone in some places. Ha ido la luz en algunos lugares, in some places. Eh, acá no. No, not in your house. No. And no you problem. have. Eh, hola. Do you have electricity in your house? Hi. Eh, acaba de venir. Oh, just in time. Sí. Hi, Carla. Hi, teacher. Did you did you eat dinner already? Yes, I. You I ate. ate my food. Okay. Okay. Good. Hi, Carmina. Hello, teacher. Is it How raining? Is it raining in San Luis Talpa? No, it's not raining. raining. Oh. Okay. In San Salvador. Yes. Salvador, I am in Ataco. You are in Ataco. Oh my God. <laughs> wow. Ataco, my favorite, my favorite town. I can yes. listen some. I can listen some coffee over there. <laughs> oh yes, the, uh, the La Casona restaurant. Yeah. Very good. Very very delicious coffee. Okay. Hi, Javier. Yes. Javier is, is... Javier, are you there? Hi, Santos. Hi, good night, teacher. Hi, how are you? Fine. Fine. Okay, yeah. very good. Juliana, good, good night. Rosalba. Hi, Juliana. Hello, teacher. Good night. Hi. Good night, good night. Okay. Okay, everybody. Hi, oh my God. Hi, Rosalba. Noah. Hello. Hi, Sandrita is getting online. Sandrita didn't get online yesterday. Eduardo too. Okay. Well, everybody, we're going to begin today with a little activity. Ooh, it's not this one. No, 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 no. Okay, it's this. Now, no, 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 no. My surprise, my surprise. Okay. Well, uh, what we're gonna do right now, we're gonna begin with this activity that is guess the shadow. Do you know the meaning of shadow, everybody? Yes. Sombra, Sombra. right? Very good, very good. Now, here in this picture, we have different shadows. So I need, uh, we will go, we will go to a small rooms in this moment, or maybe I'm gonna, tal vez no lo voy a hacer así, sino que voy a, porque algunos se están conectando ahorita, right? So I'm gonna need volunteers right now. Ya vi a mi primera víctima y me está viendo. Mm. She's looking at me. And she is Carla. Thank you very much. <laughs> okay, Carla. Here we have different shadows, all right? So what I want you okay. to do, I want you to give me one example using I can see, and you tell me a or an, you choose, okay? Go ahead, Carla, okay. give me one example. Uh, I can see a flower. Excellent, very good, it's here, right? Excellent, thank yeah. you very much. Santos, can you give me another example, please? Um, uh, hello? Yes. yes. Santos, okay. I can see. I can see. Uh, address. Address, okay. Address, okay. address. Okay, okay. Give me another example. Otro ejemplo. Another example. Um, I can see. I can see uh, shoes. Yes, you can see shoes. Uh, 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 these are specifically. High heels. High heels. High heels. High heels. Uh, Carmen, do you like high heels? Yes, I like. Yeah, they are very elegant and beautiful. <laughs> All right. Yes. Yeah. Sandrita. Sandrita. 
teacher. How Hello, are you? Teacher. We missed you I yesterday. You, teacher. <laughs> yes, teacher. I know, I, I know. <laughs> okay. I have and, a good day. Oh, okay, okay. I have a no good day. <laughs> oh, you didn't have a good day. Okay, maybe you tell me later. Only only to me. Ah, come on. <laughs> All right. Give me one example, please, Andrita. Okay, I can see house. Oh, you can see a house. A house. Yes. Okay. House. Okay. Excellent. Excellent. Okay. Josue, can you give me another example, please? I can see a shark. Yeah, there is a shark here. Well, actually, there are two. Uh huh. But yes, thank you very yes, much. Yes, two. Thank you. Let me see. Javier. Good night. Hi, good night, Javier. Can you give me one example, please? I can see a um, flower. Oh, you can see a flower. Okay, very good. Um, thank you very much. Maddie? Hello. Hi, Maddie. Can you give me one example, please? Um, I can see uh, Patrick Star. Yeah, he's here. <laughs> yeah. Patrick Star. Thank you very much, Maddie. Okay. okay, let me see. Um, Edgar, how are you, Edgar? Uh, hello. Oh my God. <laughs> hello, hello. How are you, Edgar? Give me one example, please. Um, I can see a car. A car? Where is the car? A mm, car? Be un carro. Where? <laughs> Oh my God, I, Edgar! I think we don't have a car. Es que casi vengo entrando y estaba bien ah, escuchando okay. ejemplos. Okay, okay, very good. Okay, vamos a ver qué es esto, Edgar. What's this? This? Ah, es de las okay. figuras, entonces. Sí, de las figuras, de las figuras de actores. Ah, oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Pensé que cualquier objeto o cosa. No, 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 no. From from the picture. Uh, I can see. Okay, cake. Exactly, very good. I can cake. see a cake. Excellent. Cake. Carlos Pineda. Hi, 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 good night. Can you give me one example, please? De estas figuras, can, what can you see? Flower. Oh, you can see a flower and let me see. What's this? Everybody, what's this? Do um, you know? Cat. El gato. A cat? A cat. A cat. Maybe, right? Maybe. Okay. Garfield. Uh, uh, oh, maybe Garfield? Yeah. Okay. And what's this? A heart. Heart. Yeah. A heart. And what's this? Cupcake. 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 Do you like cupcake? Yeah. Eh, cupcake. Okay. Do you like cupcakes? Yes. Yes? yes. Can see a star? I like. Oh, a star. Very good. A star. And what's this? Star. What's this? Yeah. How do you say this in English? Yes. Yes. In English. Ah, un pez. Fish. How fish. do you say? Fish. fish. Yeah. Okay, okay. Fish. Yeah, or you can say shark, like the song. Maybe shark. Do, 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 do. I didn't remember. <laughs> yes, okay. Uh, yeah, un tiburón. Okay, and what's this? What's this, everybody? Control game. Play game. Play game. Yeah, a PlayStation control. Very good. And let me see. What's this? Yeah. Um, how do you say cap cactus. Oh, uh, cactus. cactus? Cactus. Cactus, cactus. All right, very good. Yeah. And how do you say herringa in English? Oh, this is a siren jig. Siren. Siren jig. Yes, I will I will tell you the, the, the spelling later. Okay. And this is a popsicle. Popsicle? Popsicle. 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 
popsicle. Yes, popsicle. All right. Okay, thank you very much. All right, now let me see. I'm gonna, I'm gonna close this. And let me see how many students I have. <gasps> wow, I have 20 students. Good, good. All right. Now, what we're going to do today or right now is we're going to watch a video. Please take notes from the video because el tema de ahora es fácil. Today's topic is very, very easy, but we need to, to practice. So we're going to watch a video right now. Um, we're going to watch the video from from the platform. Se conocen por aquí alguien? No, teacher. No. Yes. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and Jaime, I think. And Jaime. Okay. Now, we're gonna watch a video right now. And please pay attention and take notes if it is possible. This is something very, very easy. It's a conversation. So please pay attention to the conversation because today we're gonna study the demonstrative pronouns. Los pronombres demonstrativos, that is something very easy. Okay? Uh, I'm gonna mute everybody so we don't have uh, maybe some distractions. And let's go. They're perfect for you. These red ones? We're now in section three. What is your neighborhood like? Please pay attention and try to understand the audio as much as possible. Remember, you may access to this conversation as many times as needed. I recommend for you to take notes while you are listening. In this lesson, participants will listen to a conversation about demonstratives while shopping. Oh, look at those earrings, Maria. They're perfect for you. These red ones? I'm not sure. No, the yellow ones. Oh, these? Hmm, yellow isn't really a good color for me. Well, that necklace isn't bad. Which one? That blue one right there. How much is it? It's $42. That's expensive. Hey, let me get it for you. It's your birthday present. Happy birthday. Okay, very good. I, I will repeat, okay, in case you want to listen again the pronunciation. This is to this and conversation as many. In this lesson, participants will listen to a conversation about demonstratives while shopping. Oh, look at those earrings, Maria. They're perfect for you. These red ones? I'm not sure. No, the yellow ones. Oh, these? Hmm, yellow isn't really a good color for me. Well, that necklace isn't bad. Which one? That blue one right there. How much is it? It's $42. That's expensive. Hey, let me get it for you. It's your birthday present. Happy birthday. Okay, everybody. Uh, do you have any questions with vocabulary? Any question with vocabulary? For example, what's the meaning of earrings? For you. These Ooh, red sorry. ones? Aretes. 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 Aritos. Pendientes. All right. We can, can mm -hmm. call them in different ways. How do you say? How do you say? Uh, uh, oh, this one, necklace. necklace. Okay, necklace is collar, necklace. Yes, collar, necklace, all right. Um, $42 for one necklace. Oh, Mario, you have a question? Good night. Hi. These red ones, what does it mean? Ah, ah, okay, okay. Uh, these red ones? Eh, Mario, le voy a contestar la pregunta un poquito más adelante porque es de lo que vamos a estudiar ahora, ¿ok? <laughs> yeah, oh my God, it's a surprise, Mario. <laughs> ok, but thank you very much for asking. Ok, what's the meaning of expensive, everybody? Caros. Caros. Muy caros. Very good, very, Muy very, 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 very expensive. How do, you, how do you say barato? 
Chip. ¿Ok? Ahí se los escribí. Chip. And te voy a enseñar una frase. I'm going to show you a, a, a phrase. Así como en español, like in Spanish, in English, we have dichos o refranes. In English, we have eh, idioms. That's the name. Idioms. For example, cuando algo es caro en español, ¿qué frase popular se usa? Do you know what popular expression we use in Spanish when we refer to something that is expensive? Me costó. Caro. Un ojo de la cara. Ay, cara. Very good. No, ¿Saben? Cara. ¿Saben cómo se dice en inglés? Se lo voy a escribir. I'm going to type it right now. It costs an arm. En inglés es más caro todavía. An arm en a leg. Oh. <laughs> yes. yes, exactly. In, in Spanish, it's only the eye. In English, you say an arm and a leg. Un brazo de la. Un brazo y una pierna. Ah, un brazo y una pierna. Exactly. Yes. So we have expressions in in English that are like in Spanish. They are idioms. Is it clear? Yes. yes, all right. I'm going to close this then. I'm going to close it. And if there are no more questions, we will continue with the PowerPoint presentation. Thank you very much. We're going to continue with the PowerPoint presentation. And... Okay, let me check. Do we watch the video? Okay. This is what we're going to study today. Today we're going to, es un repaso nada más. They are the demonstrative pronouns. All los pronombres demonstrativos. The demonstrative pronouns are when we, want, when we want to refer, cuando nos queremos referir a algo, when we want to refer to something that we have, ya sea cerca, near, or far. For example, what's this, everybody? Cell phone. Cell phone. Very good. Como yo lo tengo en mi mano, I can say, this is my cell phone. Pero como ustedes this están al otro lado de la pantalla, you are on the other that, side of the screen. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. Very good. You're going to say, that is a cell phone. Okay? Okay. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do oh, it. That another. is your cell phone. Perfect. Perfect, Sandra. Yes. What about, what's this? Is that a book? Your notebook. What is? <laughs> oh, it's a notebook. Is that a notebook? A picture? Yes. No, it's a notebook. Uh, oh, all right. That is your notebook. Exactly. So you will say that, that is your notebook. Okay. Se me oye cortado. Un poco. Un poquito, quizás es por la lluvia. Right. Hay in interferencia, seguro. ¿Y ahorita? No. No, Ajá. yo creo que es eh, de, de rain. Okay. I hear perfect. Oh, ok, ok. What's this? That glass. That is that glass. Exactly. Is you say your... that is, you can say a glass. glass or you can say your vaso. A glass. Oh, oh, that is water, yeah. A, a glass of water. I okay. can see, I can see the cup. Es un vaso con, con, con agarradero. Yes, y, and it says que chivo es ser salvadoreño. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. okay. A glass of beer. Yeah, oh, a glass of beer. No, no, no. <laughs> okay, what's this? Mm -hmm. What is your your alcohol? Your, no? alcohol, alcohol gel. Mm. That's <laughs> your alcohol gel. That is your alcohol gel. That's the way you pronounce it. Okay, is, is it clear? Is it clear? Yeah. Yes, teacher. Yeah, yes, it's teacher. not it's not difficult. Now, con lo con lo que está abajo with the other one. It is these. So please pay attention. I'm going to pronounce it for you. What's the difference in pronouncing 
competition between this one and this one. Okay, this one you pronounce it this. 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 Es this. corto el sonido. This. 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 And, this. and this one is these. 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 Exactly. For example, this. This. This is your flower. This is, flower. This is, this is flower. your flower. Exactly. Yo las tengo acá conmigo. So that's why I say, these are those, my flowers. Those, Ustedes van a decir, those, 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 are, are, those, those are your flowers. Flower. Your flowers. Yes, those, you're going to say those. Those. Those, those are those. your flowers. Very good. Those are your flowers. I'm going to give you another example. Those are Those your pens. Pens, market. Yeah, Marco. you can say these, these are highlighters. Highlighters. Okay. Highlighters, resaltadores, right? Hi highlighters. Hi 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 highlighters. Highlighters. Light and pears. Highlighters. Highlighters. Okay. Highlighters. So these are my highlighters. These Those are Those your highlighters. Highlighter. Highlighter. Very good, very good, very good. Excellent. Is it clear, everybody? Yes. Yeah, it's not it's not difficult. It's not difficult. You have to pay attention to the distance. Distance. You say this? Yes, teacher. That. No. This, okay. that, these, those. Those. Is here? Teacher. Yes. Yeah? Eh, prácticamente, these es como cuando hay varios. Yes. These es cuando son varios. Es, esta palabra. These. Uh, these. These. Those. Dos es también cuando hay varios, varios pero, es... pero lejos. Exactly. Very good. Very good. Imagine Mario Granados, you see two girls, beautiful girls, and you say, oh my God, those are beautiful girls. Yeah? yeah. <laughs> those are, yeah. Yeah, those are, or maybe for the ladies, those are handsome boys. Yeah? Baby boys. <laughs> yeah, Baby. for the ladies, for the ladies too. Okay, now we're gonna, vamos a practicar en parejas o en grupos. All right, let me check. Okay, please take a picture. Take a picture from the, from the screen. And we're gonna go and practice in groups. Okay, we're gonna practice in groups. And we're going to practice um, to complete this sentence using this, that, these, or those. Tal vez uno del grupo puede compartir la imagen. You can share the, the picture with the group para que les sea más fácil. So it is easier. Uh, you took the picture, everybody? Yes. Okay, yes. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay, so let me see. We're going to go and practice in a small room. Uh, let me see. We're gonna go in here. Ahí en el en, en el chat dicen uh, que no entiende muy bien. Oh, vamos a ver. Let's see, Carmina. Carmina no me escucha bien. Carmina. Yo creo que no entiende bien el tema, creo. O la diferencia. Hola. Ah, ok. Eh, Carmina, no, no me entiende. No, 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 no puedo. No puedo escuchar muy bien, hay demasiada interferencia. Ah, maybe. ¿Y los demás cómo me escuchan? Yo muy, bien. muy bien. Muy bien. Yo escucho oh. bien. Ah, ok. Maybe Carmina, eh, of, of course, Carmina está bien lejos, all right? She's very far away. Maybe it's the internet, Carmina. Pero cualquier cosa, cualquier cosa, Carmina, escríbame no, al, al chat, ¿ok? Ok. 
Si no, si no, pues podemos abordar Pero cualquier... de todos modos, el... No, está bien, de todos modos, justo ese tema vi ahora en la plataforma, así que más o menos ya lo entendí. Ah, ok, ok, ok. Si no, cuando los ponga en grupos, voy a ir al grupo suyo para alguna pregunta, la evacuamos, ¿all right? Ok. Ok. So, we're going to go to the, to the rooms. I will give you four minutes, all right? Because this is something very easy. Ok. Bye bye, everybody. Hi. Hi, Carlita. <laughs> Let me see. Carolina Mestizo. I'm going to send you here. Carolina, ¿ya recibió la, la invitación para ir al, al room? Okay. Hi, Carmina. Ay, aquí. Aquí okay. se encontró con Carmina, ¿verdad? Yeah. <ríe> ah, Hola, aquí. Tiche. Me Hi. encontró con las manos. Yes, las manos en la masa. Yes. Uh, ¿Alguna pregunta que tenga? Yes, yes, Edgar. Vaya. Mm. Es que, que, no, por no, Ok. Oh, bueno, Edgar. Edgar. This es para cerca. Sí. This. Exactly. This. Y el otro era. Singular. This. Ah, Pero el singular, okay. ¿verdad? Ya. Yeah. El singular es this. Así bien cortante. This. And this. Oh. Y, okay. y, míreme, y míreme aquí, no lo vamos a decir this, como que si lo dijéramos con una i en español, porque si no vamos a estar pronunciando el plural. El singular lo vamos a pronunciar con sonido, como que fuera una i, pero yo le digo así como una i tontita, e. E, entonces sería... Ajá, e. entonces... Se... Es. 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 Des, así Ajá. bien, bien, bien. ¿Y para el plural, teacher? Ah, para el plural, sí, como que lo dijéramos con una I en español. This, this. Hacemos más largo. Uh -huh. No, y cuando son no, varios no, para sí. el plural es... Para el plural cuando son varios es these are. Y cuando es uno es this Ajá. is. Uh -huh. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. El sonido es la diferencia. Okay. Uh -huh. For the singular gracias, is gracias. this. Yeah, no problem, no problem. Okay, practice. I will, okay, I will, gracias. I will leave you. Okay, bye bye. Okay. Paola. Hi. Hi, Paola. Ok, Paola, we are practicing. Estamos practicando con eh, the demonstrative pronouns. Yes. Ok, this, that, this, and those. Eh, ya en five seconds se cierra el los grupos para que podamos practicar. Ok. Ok. All right. You, you didn't work today? Sorry? You didn't work today? Yes. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I understand. Okay, Paula? Okay. Okay. Okay, now everybody is back. Uh, is, the, is this easy or difficult? Easy. Yeah, it's, it's very, very easy. Very easy. Yeah. No. Eh, me preguntaban por ahí por la diferencia de pronunciación. Cuando es el this, sí. para singular, vamos a decir this. 
Des. Así bien cortante, des. 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 Okay. Lo pronuncia así, des, porque los sonidos en inglés de vocales tenemos, ¿sabían ustedes que son 12 sonidos de vocal? Dos, okay. 12 sonidos de vocales y en español solo tenemos 5 A, E, I, O, U but in English we have 12 sounds so la I de ese this uh, this oh sorry I'll show you the the, the, the highlight ok, here Este se pronuncia des. 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 Y este se pronuncia this. This. Yeah, it's this. the difference the difference is one sound is short and the other sound is long. Clear? Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 So we say this that this and those Oh. This, that, this and those. Es como que lo esté pronunciando para que no se le dificulte mucho. Como que lo pronuncia con una D. Right? Those. All right. Yeah. This, that, these, those. This. This. Look at, look at, look at, look at my fingers. Look at my fingers. This. That, these, those. It's like short and long. It's clear? O sea, que hay que hacer la pronunciación como con la letra D. De dedo. Exacto, exacto. Ah, yes. yo pensé que era con T. Con no, T. como con una D. Ah. All right? Ah, ok, sí, ok. Very good. Para que no se les haga difícil. This, that, these. Dos. Dos. Yeah, 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 those, 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 okay, very good, okay, uh, Carolina, can you give me please the, the answer for number one? Um, is, this is a boy. Uh, okay, Carolina, look at, look at the distance, look at the distance. That. That. That is uh -huh. a boy. That yes, because because the distance, Carolina, look, eh, la distancia es un poquito larga. So for that reason, we're gonna say that. Aquel es un niño. That is a boy. Is clear? Yes. Yeah. Okay, Carolina, help me with number two. Um, sería aquella amiga. Sería como dice que es eh, cerca, das uh -huh. is a doll. Eh, sería al revés. That es cuando lo tengamos lejos y this ah, es cuando esté cerca. Uh -huh. uh, this is a doll. Perfect, Carolina. Perfect, perfect. Very good. Teacher, Maddie. I have a question. Maddie, you have a question. Yes. Yes, ask me. The pronunciation in number eight is a school. No. Like a number four. Uh, no. Uh, the pronunciation for number eight is skull. 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 Como brindan los vikingos. Skull. They say skull. Oh. Yeah, so, oh. cráneo, cráneo in English is skull. Oh. Escuela in English is school. Oh. Mm -hmm. oh. okay. ¿Se fijan que oh. suenan diferentes las vocales? Oh. Yes. 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 Yeah, because in English we have different sounds. All right? Okay, okay, thank you. Okay, Maddie, help me with number three, please. This is my bowl. Very easy. All right. This is my ball. Uh, Mario Granados, help me with number four, please. Okay. Uh, number four is that is the school bus. Excellent. Very good. Because look at the distance. Ooh, very far away. All right. Number five is for uh, Eduardo. These are the balls. Ok, very good. This. Largo el sonido, Eduardo. Repeat, please. 
These are the books. Perfect. Perfect, Eduardo. Thank you very much. Um, Jairo? Number six, Jairo, please. Those are your cards. Can you repeat, please? Those are your cards. Yeah, those. Those. Those mm -hmm. are those. 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 El sonido lo vamos a hacer O. Yeah, okay, thank you. Thank you, Jairo. Thank you very much. Uh, number seven is for Santos. Uh, that's our housing. Uh, can you repeat, please? Uh, okay. That's, that's our houses. Uh, everybody, what do you think in number seven? Is this uh, or is those? That's this. This. No. This. 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 Santos, this. vamos a usar el, el largo. This. This. These are houses. Very good. So these. All right, long, long. Yes. These are houses. Excellent, uh, Santos. Thank you very much. Uh, jo Josué? This is a skull. Excellent. Very good pronunciation. This is a skull. And number nine is going to be for, let me see, Carlos. ¿Cuál Carlos? Yo. Carlos Pineda, ¿ya? This is a uh, ice cream. Oh, okay. Look at, look at the yeah. distance. Look at the distance. Are ah, you nice? Are you nice dancing? Sí, Look. Sí, sí, sí. Excuse me. Okay. Uh, this, this is an ice cream. Uh, no, we're gonna say that. That, that. we're gonna say that is an ice cream. Aquel es un helado. That is an ice cream. Is it clear? Yes. Yes, okay, very good. Okay, now, eh, les voy a mostrar otro video. I'm going to show you another video. If, if this is, is not still clear, I'm going to show you another, another video right now. Let me see, where is it? It's here. Okay, we're going to share the sound and share. I'm going to mute everybody in this moment so you can watch the video Okay, let me see. And this is the conversation. Okay, lo que vamos a estudiar ahora, agregándole a eso, please pay attention to this video. Este video está bastante explicativo, right? This, this video is very, very clear. And le vamos a agregar otra cosa. Vamos a estudiar one and ones, cuando usamos one and ones, pero no nos referimos a número. We're not going to refer to numbers. Okay, so watch the, the video and then I'm going to ask you some, some questions. Let me see. Okay. By the end of this lesson, participants will be able to use demonstrative pronouns, this, these, that, those, to express possible choices. Okay, I will repeat the pronunciation of this lady. Listen, you will listen the difference. These, that, those, to express okay. possible choice demonstrative pronouns. This, these, that, those. Can you see the position of her mouth? This, these, mm -hmm. that, those. To express possible choices. Hello, this is what we're going to do. We will listen to the audio program first, try to follow the topic, and as soon as it is done, we will talk about it. Demonstratives. One, ones. How much is this necklace? How much is this one? How much is that necklace? How much is that one? Which one? The blue one. It's $42. How much are these earrings? How much are these? How much are those earrings? How much are those? Which ones? The yellow ones. They're $18. 
prices. $42. $59.95 or $59.95. As you realized, we're talking about demonstrative pronouns. As you know, there are four. This, these, that, those. I know you have studied this before, so we will make a quick review. This, singular, near. These, plural, near. That, singular, far. Those, plural, far. Therefore, we use is for this and that and are for these and those. In English, we use one or ones very often when talking about choosing or having more than one option. For example, I ask, is that your car? Which one? The red one or the blue one? The red one. Yes, it is. The words one or ones always go at the end of the question and answers, and they replace the noun in question. And we will talk about it. What is this necklace? How much is this these earrings? How much prices five cents? These plural near. That okay. So if you pay attention here, we use this when it is singular, near, these, when it is plural, near, cerca, right? That is when it's singular, far, and those, when it is plural, far. Plural, and they are, the things are far. Now, um, I'm gonna stop this share, and I will go to my slide one more time. Let me see. Okay. Mm. Is here this information? This is the one that we're gonna use. Okay. Sorry. Okay. Lo que vamos a estudiar ahora o repasar, right? Son las palabras one and ones. As I told you before, this is not uno o unos, right? No, it's not the number. One and ones se van a usar cuando sustituimos sustantivos. Esto es algo bastante gramatical. It's very grammatical. But when we use nouns in a sentence, for example, I have two cars. The blue car is old and the black car is new. The blue car has two doors and the black car... ¿Cuántas veces repetimos car? A lot of times, right? The blue car, the black car, the blue car, the black car, etc. So, one and ones se utilizan para sustituir, all right, to substitute words. For example, más que todo cuando nos dan opciones. For example, eh, Carlita, can you unmute your microphone, Carlita, please? Okay, Carlita, you will help me. Carla, which highlighter do you prefer? The pink one or the yellow one? Uh, I prefer the pink one. Excellent, very good, the pink one. ¿Se fijaron que no le volví a repetir a ella la palabra highlighter? Porque se oye muy repetitivo. It's very repetitive. Le pregunto otra vez. Carlita, which highlighter do you want? The pink highlighter or the yellow highlighter? Because the pink highlighter is better than the yellow highlighter. Because the pink, oh my God, and I repeat and I repeat and I repeat the same. But if I say the pink one or the yellow one, la palabra one en esas oraciones no tiene como significado de uno. Es como que usted diga, ¿cuál querés? ¿El amarillo o el rosado? That's all. All right? Okay. Carlita, let me see another another example. Uh, which color which color do you prefer for shoes? Uh, black one, what do you uh, black one or white one? Um I prefer um, white. White color. White. Or white you can color. say white one. All right. Very good, very good. Uh, Stanley, are you there? Oh, Stanley. Is Hello, teacher. <laughs> Hi, Stanley. All right. Me Hi, Stanley. How are you? Uh, Stanley, do you like do you like um, beer? No. Ah, okay. <laughs> All right. Let me see. 
Uh, another example. Do you like soda? Yes, I like soda. Do you like the dark one or the clear one? ¿Le gusta la soda oscura o la clara? Do you like the dark one or the clear one? Clear one. Clear one. Oh, so you like a Sprite. Let me see another one. Another. Seven up. Sorry? Seven up. Fresca. Oh, fresca, seven up, etc. Okay. Yeah. Is it clear? Yes. It's clear? Yes. Okay. Now, si se fija en el... Yes? Eh, una pregunta. Sí, claro, claro. el one or ones se puede utilizar cuando eh, uno tiene fijo de lo que me están hablando o preguntando. Exacto. Te dan dos opciones. Two options. O sea que digamos que si yo estoy hablando por teléfono y, y, y quiero decirle este o este, no vas a ver, no puedo, no puedo utilizar one or ones. Exactly. Uh -huh. Yeah. So, for example, look at, look at the, look at the, al párrafo, al segundo párrafo. Look at the paragraph number two. It says, I have two cars. The blue one, o el azul, the blue one is old, and the black one is new. The blue one has two doors, and the black one has four doors. Okay? Por ejemplo, imagínese que yo tuviera dos, dos hijos, solo tengo uno, all right? I have only one son. Pero tuviera dos hijos, uno terrible, a terrible one, and an angel one. Okay? Very good, because in the family is very common, all right? You have a terrible one and an angel What one. Terrible one or the okay. angel one? Oh, eh... Uh, both. <laughs> okay, but imagine if I had a child, you say, oh, you know, everybody, I have two children. Uh, Josue is the terrible one, and Carlos is the angel one. The terrible one is seven years old, and the angel one is five years old. The terrible one is short, and the angel one is tall, and blah, 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 blah. Is it clear? It's clear. Eh, teacher. Yes. Uh, para eh, cuando quiero plantear las dos situaciones, en las dos situaciones uso solo one o ones con la S. Ahorita vamos a ver unos ejemplos para que entendamos mejor eso. Oye, ahorita ah, vamos. Okay, right. okay. We're gonna we're gonna do some exercises right now, and they are here. Okay. Now, lo que vamos a hacer, what we're going to do is, les voy a dar un ejemplo. Let me see, para que vean singular y plural. Vamos a hacer el primero, number one, and number five. Ok, vamos a hacer el uno y el cinco juntos, y después ustedes se van a ir a practicar. So, number one, eh, let me see, I'm going to get the highlighter. Ok, the spotlight. Now, number one says, I don't like this. T-shirt. Aquí tengo la palabra que voy a sustituir. T-shirt. I don't like this T-shirt. Please show me another one. Exactly. Vamos a poner one for singular. Another one. Porque T-shirt is singular. Is clear? Everybody? Yes. 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 It's clear, okay. Now, number five. Pay attention to number five. Mike has got new or new CDs, plural. So, we say, Mike has got new CDs and old ones. Aquí es plural, it's plural here, because you have CDs. Is it clear? Yes. Okay, okay so we say, Yes? Uh, how do you mean all, all expression? ¿Qué significa toda la oración? Sí. Ah, ok. Dice, Mike tiene nuevos CDs y viejos. Has got is a... Oh, tiene. Yeah, has got, has got is have 
or has no, in British has English? Yes, sí, and of. Has no, got? Has. No, los británicos usan has got. Ah, ok. Cuando ellos quieren decir, por ejemplo, yo tengo un carro, ellos dicen, I have got a car. Ok. ¿Hm? And in American English, I have only. Uh, teacher, the, the, the other example, uh, to have a car, uh, we use one. In which one? And which, the which last number? example, the last, the last example. Number 13. No, the last uh, slide. Presentation. La que estábamos viendo hace poquito. Yes. Eh, this one. Yes. Yes. This one. I, uh -huh. Yes. I have two cars. Ah, okay. The, uh, I have two cars. Look, one is old and black one is new. Exactly. Aquí estamos hablando del de un carro en particular. All right. Aquí dice yo tengo dos carros. I have two cars. Ajá, y él los divide en o los separa, right? Habla del azul, okay. the blue one and mm -hmm. the black one. Okay. Yeah? Understand. Okay. Yeah. Very good. Now, we're going to uh, please take pictures. Take pictures from this page. Take pictures from this page. I call I call it I call it um, you, you have the I, picture? Yes. I yes. yes, very good. All right. Now uh, I'm gonna send you to the small groups. Lo voy a mandar a los pequeños grupos a que practiquen, all right? So you can practice. All so right. let me see. We're gonna recreate the rooms and I'm gonna give you let me see six minutes. I'm gonna give you six minutes so you can practice. Okay, let's go. I will go to each room in case you need help, okay? Si necesitan eh, ayuda, no duden en preguntar. All right, don't, don't doubt about it. Okay. Vamos a ver. Uy. I'm sorry. My microphone was, was mute. Ok. ¿Alguna pregunta? Sí. Uh, hasta ahorita no, Tisha. ¿En you, Carlos? No. La pregunta es, Tisha, de que si cuando usamos el guam, Es como para el singular y el guantz con S para pluralizarlo. Perfecto, perfecto. ¿Ya? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. En el ejemplo que les daba, por ejemplo, en number five, it says, Mike has got. Ignoran ese got, all right? Mike has new CDs, plural. En all oh. ones. Ones. Y esa palabra ones la vamos a ocupar Para no decir, Mike has new CDs and all CDs. Para no repetir la misma palabra. Ajá. Entonces, la number two dice, I like Austrian music. Better than the Spanish one. Excellent. It's only sing one. One. Singular. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Y en vez de repetir Bye. otra vez música. ¿Ya? Ok, sí. Clear? Yes, thank you. Yes, thank you, teacher. 
Okay. Okay. Continue practicing. Okay. Does Does John No te escucho, Carmina. Mari. Mari, cambiamos de turno y se las mismas. Ok. Voy con las preguntas. Dale, dale. I like Australian music better than the Spanish one. Does John drink Italian wines or Austrian ones? Perfect. I, I am a snoopy here. Sorry. <laughs> do, do you want a big dog or a small one? Beautiful ladies. Excellent. Okay. I will go to another room. Bye -bye. Okay. okay. Yeah, Joshua. I like Austrian music better than the Spanish one. Yeah. Does John drink Italian wine or Austrian one? Okay, sorry, sorry. Uh, Santos, can you repeat number three, please? Does, does John drink Italian wines? Wines, wines, wines plural, plural. Or or Australian, Austrian, once, once. Excellent, Santos, very good. Plural. Mm -hmm. Do you want a big dog or a small one? Excellent, Carolina, very good. One, only singular, okay? Mike has got new CDs and all ones. Excellent, Josue. Okay, do you have a question? No? No. Um, Teacher. Yes, Santos. Uh, 13. Oh, number 13. Mm -hmm. uh, in uh, which house does he live? In the big one or the small one? Sorry, Josue. I, I, I finished. Okay. Uh, let me no, see. No problem. Yes, sorry, sorry, me quedé a medias con, con la respuesta. But yes, number 13 is, in which house does he live? In the big one or the small one? Okay? One. Uh, one. A singular. Sin la, sin la S, yes, it's singular. All right, very good. Okay. Okay. Uh, Teacher. Now, yes? Uh, en la número dos, teníamos una pregunta. Okay. Uh, I like Austrian music better than the Spanish ones. I think it's ones porque está hablando de la música en general. Uh, yes, but when we talk about music, it is singular. Uh, music is singular. Music is it. No sería ones. No, it's one. Porque la música eh, se toma como un singular. Uh -huh. Los géneros de música is different. Yes. So number two is, I like Austrian music better than the Spanish one. Uh -huh. Teacher, and the number three, does, yeah. John, does John drink Italian wines? Or Austrian ones. Yes, Austrian ones. Okay, okay. very good. Uh, number four and is. Yes, Paola. Sorry. And the third thing 
And in which house does he lie? Live. Sería live, sorry. In the big ones on the big one? Big one. Big one, okay. Because they are giving you two, two choices. Because if you pay attention, house is singular. Okay. Is it clear? Okay. Clear, thanks. Okay, very good. Uh, let me see. Number six is, Emma got the orange stone and Sarah the green? One. Singular, okay. My cat is yes. nicer than the one of John. Number seven is one. Vamos a irnos así, solo que me den las respuestas porque ya casi terminamos, all right? Number eight one. is one or one? One. One. one? one. Number eight is one. Number nine? One. 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 Number one. ten? One. 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 Number 10 one. is plural, one. Once. All right. Once. Number 11? Once. 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 Number 12? Once. 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 Okay. What is the meaning, gums? Gomita. Yeah. yeah, so we say, which fruit gums should I take? The sour, sour, las acidas, the sour ones, or the sweet ones? Okay. Okay, everybody. Um, Teacher, what is the yeah. pronunciation? European? European. 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 Yes. European. Okay. okay. Eh, alguno, perdonen que les haga la pregunta. Eh, ¿Alguno de ustedes hizo los ejercicios que les mandé? ¿Los links? ¿Los que mandé al grupo? No. No, no. No, no. no. Oh. Ok, Eso, esas solo son cosas extras, all right, para que ustedes aprovechen. Acuérdense que el enfoque principal es la platform, pero yo también les voy a mandar algunas cositas extras para que recuerden. Y les, voy a mandar, les voy a mandar un ejercicio de, para que practiquen one and ones, ok? Unos teachers los hice, eh, están muy bonitos porque eh, son bien completos y tanto tienen en español como en inglés. Yes. Mm -hmm. Así que se puede, eso va a ser como un refuerzo a su plataforma. But remember, your principal objective is the platform. Is it clear? Okay. Okay. Thank you very much, everybody. Have a good Thank night. You, Cualquier Thank pregunta, you, ahí está mi WhatsApp number. Okay? Bye-bye. Okay. Very good night, teacher. Bye. Good night. Good night.